Morning guys, I'm on the outskirts of Cuxton on the North Downs and Pilgrim's Way. Crossing the distance above that train track is the Medway Bridge. Crosses the River Medway. The M2 motorway crosses it as well as the Eurostar trains and also a footpath that I'll be taking shortly. Walking to Hollingbourne today and at the end of this walk I'll have completed in total the whole of the North Downs Way, all 150 odd miles of it. In various sections and stages but this is the last little bit I've got to do. Actually feeling a little bit ropey today, a long trip up on the train, feeling a little bit weary but had headaches this morning but I'm sure I'll be fine once I get going. 18 to 20 miles today I think, not 100% sure on the distance but we shall find out. Again, the weather is perfect for how I like to walk. It's about between 10 and 12 degrees C. Nice and cool, it's not particularly windy. And although there's grey sky, there's not a, a lot of chance of rain today according to my weather app. We shall see it, I shall keep an eye on it, see what it recommends as I walk through different areas. I think it's ranging between 2 and 9% chance of rain, so be unlucky to get some but the view out there is amazing I shall turn the camera I should be walking those hills and downs in the distance here's a train on that train line just crossed over that Tranquility ruined in an instant. But yeah, up over those hills and down into the distance over there somewhere. Look how flat that is. Should be some amazing views. Yeah, my time is not quite right, but that's what this field would look like. A field of poppies. First time I've seen one of these. Right on the edge of the footpath, do not disturb. I'm still on the footpath, full foot away from it. This is a weird setup. Going through one road subway now. You can see the Medway Bridge over there. Find my way round to that, under it, and then across it. I'm not a fan of the old uh, traffic, but that should be interesting. And it's not that long, so 15 minutes, I'll be across there onto them hills on the other side. I started just over there. Fair old detour to get to here though. Thankfully I'm now leaving the sounds of the eight lane M2 and the high speed railway behind. There's been numerous light aircraft and the like flying over this area. Is there an airport or Rochester? Must be. view from here is quite good you can see the north downs across the top of those that short cliffs going off in the distance and then heading off but this is my path
I'm approaching the Bluebell Hill area. amazing views here <laughs> that's the Medway Valley and an ideal spot to have lunch. Just come down Bluebell Hill from where I had the massive vantage point and arrived at Kit Cote's house. Well, this would have been the entrance to a long barrow 4,000 years ago, fortunately protected by railings or fortunately protected by railings from vandalism. Let's get in there and read. So in fact, according to the English Heritage sign, these barrows were built between 3,500 BC and 2,800 BC. So it's approximately 5,000 years old. Remarkable. Fallen tree in my path. Certainly know who would enjoy climbing over this. And finally under the Bluebell Hill, as I've been used to knowing it, the dual carriageway, the links made stone and the Medway towns. Subway's quite handy. Space age looking. I think I'm probably approaching halfway point now, must be about the halfway point. I just about, about a six hour walk, maybe seven. I'm three hours in, so that's good for the old fitness. I remember that place, Kent Motor Home Centre. They've got numerous uh, VW campers in there and other motorhomes. It's pretty cool. Awesome. And the high speed rail line just the other side of Bluebell Hill. It goes right under Bluebell Hill for miles and miles. It comes out again where I was earlier, Nashington Farm. There's another very old stone, chalk graffiti, but not too bad. 
finally getting away from the railway lines, dual carriageways and the motorways. Got a couple of miles of countryside as I approach Boxley. This is the Pilgrim's Way trackway. As I said in my last video, this dates back to pilgrimage to Canterbury Cathedral, Thomas Beckett. I suppose I'm cheating a little bit. Should have gone up the, onto the high path, which runs parallel to this, a couple hundred metres away is the North Downs Way. I said it before, but this is what I love. These quiet trackways, paths, and hedgerows, rideaways, dodging the horse shit there. A cyclist passed me a few minutes ago. Has crossed my mind the old cycling. A couple of good panniers takes the weight away from your back, and on the flat and more boring areas, you can pick up a lot of pace and still stop easily enough, still take these trackways. But I don't know still restrict me hell of a lot with a bicycle. <laughs> perhaps I should get one of those little folding bikes. A Brompton perhaps, or a cheaper version. Um, I don't know, just talking out loud I think, just thinking out loud I think and uh, I can remember some bike trips in the past, saddled sore to say the least. At least with walking, it's your feet that get so. <laughs> yeah, nice little bench seat. Shan't be stopping. Need to crack on for the moment. Yeah, this is good. crazy to think trying to cross this road now there you go there's a gap the car can just do it to the midway point but until an eight-year-old child was killed they didn't bother to build this bridge even though there have been deaths previously trying to cross it look at the amount of traffic sunshine this afternoon. Could have done with a sun hat. As I was just saying, sometimes when you're on these lesser footpaths, not very well marked, they're not national trails or anything, 
definitely on one according to the OS map app on my phone so clearly it looks like the farmer doesn't want people coming through this way as he's uh, dumped hundred ton of shit here and, uh, <laughs> should be able to get round here <laughs> Technically, I suppose that's the footpath up there. So, yeah. Very nice. Yep, footpath just signed down there saying private, no public right away. The footpath's been diverted. Funny, isn't it? Got a bit of money in your own manner, and suddenly footpaths are being diverted for one reason or another. What a lot of bullshit.